Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements. In this session, we'll discuss how we will go for create a sales order, how to create a new employee, and what roles are required for creating the sales order we'll discuss. First, we'll go for a hire an employee from a FSM environment. Let's go to setup and maintenance here. Then go to order management. Go to the task manage users. Select person type as employee. The moment when we choose person type as employee, it will ask us uh, for which legal employer this employee is working and for which business unit he is working. Two fields are mandatory here. We'll choose uh, US one legal employer and uh, US one business unit. Let's go for save and close. This is the user account we have created successfully here. Once user account is created, let's go back to our uh, uh, security console, tools menu, security console. Okay. Go to the tab here, users tab, search for the user account. Let me reset the password for this user. Go for edit and add this role over here. Basic employee role we are going to assign to access the self-information, which is abstract role here. And after that, uh, we are going for uh, order entry specialist. Can also go for add order administrator in case if at all we are working with the uh, pricing information. In case was list. So we have added these two roles for the user, and after adding the roles, then we have to go with the data access. Let's go back to FSM environment here.
let's go to the task data access here and choose the username and role name combination. So here security context is reference data set. <clears throat> Excuse me, whatever the objects we have in this RDS that will be associated for this particular user and role combination. Go to initial users and uh, let's go for uh, submit LDAP process here. Let's uh, log out and log into the applications. Let's go to Navigator, Order Management. Go to the option called Order Management here. Now we'll go for Create Sales Order over here. The moment when we click this button, create order, system will open the sales order page. So we'll be entering the information at headers and lines, sales order page. Header level will specify customer bill to ship to total amount currency, this information header level. Line level will specify the item and other information. Let me choose the customer name as business world. And after that, we got business unit US1 because we given the data access only for one business unit that we got here already, US1 business unit. And then sales order date. In case uh, if we have received any purchase order from the customer, then that PO number will be entered here. PO number will be entered. So we got all the information at the header level. Let's go for line level. Choose the item name, which is having sufficient quantity in our inventory. Let me choose this uh, sales order item.
this item we have total uh, six items we require quantity and we have the stock in inventory okay and the unit price is this and we got total amount this let's go for add this line information to the line level item quantity price unit of measurement this details and let's go for save the sales order once we enter this information, headers and lines, if at all we would like to add any shipment details, we can add shipment details and freight charges, billing and payment information, credits, sales credits. If we want to add, we can go for add the sales credits here. Okay. So this entire sales order, once it is uh, verified, it can be submitted for validation. So whatever the information we have entered in the sales order, we have to verify whether it's valid or not. So how it can be verified actions validate now system is going to verify this information is valid or not and we can get that details here It takes a couple of minutes time to validate the sales order here. Now this is our uh, sales order number 98413 and what is the status right now it's a draft uh, we have to go for uh, verify this and submit let me submit it's already validated we do not have any errors system will check the customer uh, credit limit and customer payment options billing and shipping this all information system is quite verified and finally says that no errors and it's validated successfully and we have submitted for scheduling as well as for the booking order. Okay. So once we click submit button, we'll find the status here. What is the order status? Now the sales order has been submitted successfully here. here we can find header level it's processing as well as line level also we'll find the status it's not started it's not started over here let's go for refresh this button now system is going to Book this sales order uh, it will be a, it will be a scheduled process the moment it will be a scheduled process then we can say that your order has been submitted successfully and it's been scheduled for the releasing the goods from the warehouse okay yeah yes so if the sales order is already created and it's, um, it's been submitted for booking as well as now we can find the status as awaiting shipping. It means uh, waiting for uh, release the goods from the warehouse and ship those goods to the customer location. So that's the next step we are supposed to do. So if we have any sales order, which is having the status of awaiting shipping, generally initial status will be not started after that uh, scheduled status, then we will find uh, awaiting shipping. We have seen in our previous session that uh, different statuses. Now, what we can do is go to actions menu, switch to fulfillment view. When we go to switch to fulfillment view, here we can view the complete uh, order uh, delivery information. System has mentioned that 
we need to pick the goods from the warehouse called 002. How the system will decide is, in order management, there are sourcing rules. Based on the sourcing rule, system will decide from which warehouse it has to pick up the items. So that sourcing rule will mention if the order has given for this particular item, system should pick the items from this warehouse first priority. Otherwise, it has to pick the items from some other warehouse. Like that, we'll define the rules. Based on the rule, system will decide from which warehouse it has to pick the items. Okay. Now it says that 002 inventory. So make sure that if you want to release the goods from the warehouse, you need to have the inventory. 98413 is the sales order number. Okay. So we need access to inventory management to release the material. At this point of time, we don't have the access to inventory. We need to add the roles and data access 